Everyone these days are talking about climate change. Save the climate, and sustainable this and that, but in reality, it is nothing but a big hoax, a huge scam, controlled by the enemy of mankind, the Jesuit order in Rome. In this video I will go over a few recent headlines, about the Inflation Reduction Act which Biden just signed and was passed. They said that it was to reduce inflation and to help the people, but it is indeed a climate bill, carefully following the encyclical of Pope Francis, Laudato Si, he wrote in 2015 which the world's leaders are following today. Before we get into this, we need to understand that there is no global warming, climate change is a big hoax and a lot of baloney, which we will hear from John Coleman, the founder of the Weather Channel in an interview he gave to BBC. I was the founder of the Weather Channel, not the co-founder. And I'm glad you did, because I am addicted to the Weather Channel. I watch because a lot I'm of cable news. Now. Hold on just well, a minute, I'm not done. And CNN has taken a very strong position on global warming that is that it is a consensus. Well, there is no consensus in science. Science isn't a boat. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. There is no significant man-made global warming now. There hasn't been any in the past, and there's no reason to expect any in the future. There's a whole lot of baloney, and yes, it is. it has become a big political point of the Democratic Party and part of their platform, and I regret it's become political instead of scientific, but the science is on my side. I don't think we're going to come to a conclusion about the topic right here. What I do wonder well, I know though, we're is when not, you because see you wouldn't the... allow it to happen on CNN, but I'm happy well, that we, I got on the air and got a chance to talk to your, uh, to your viewers. Hello, everybody. What there I is do, no global warming. What I do wonder is when you see the government, when you see NASA, when you see other institutions say that 97% of climate scientists agree do you think they're making it up? I, I, what I don't understand is how you well, square that. Well, that's a manipulated that. figure, and let me explain it to you. Uh, this, the uh, government puts out about two and a half billion dollars directly for climate research every year. It only gives that money to scientists who will produce scientific results that support the global warming hypothesis of the Democrat Party of position. So they don't have any choice. If you're going to get the money, you've got to support their position. Therefore, 97% of the scientific reports published support global warming. Why? Because those are the ones the government pays for, and that's where the money is. And that is exactly right, it is where the money is, and that is everything they think about, and to eliminate the middle class so they can become even wealthier, and have much better control over the poor, which will get even poorer. We can also see how 1107 scientists and professionals around the world has signed the World Climate Declaration, that there is no climate emergency. They are saying the exact same things as we heard John Coleman say before, and how climate science should be less political. The World Climate Declaration was initiated in 2019 by Emeritus Professor Hus Berkout, founder of the Dutch Climate Intelligence Foundation, Clintel. Here we see the list of the 1107 signatories. So, it is clear that the real scientists and professionals, those who are not paid off by the Jesuits and the elite, are sounding the alarm, because we can all see how the world has changed, and are currently changing the way the Jesuits wants it to fit their narrative, and it is important to also know the other side of the story, before we go into the recent headlines. It is all about the Inflation Reduction Act, which was passed last week, which has nothing to do with reducing the inflation they created, but it has everything to do with reducing the global population, which we know has been their plan for a long time. On this vote, the yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. <laughs> Aussie journalist celebrates Biden's climate bill deception, rebranding the legislation as inflation reduction. Brilliant piece of marketing, 
It's called the Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, but it's in fact a climate bill. Biden signs $740 billion inflation reduction bill that economists say won't lower inflation. President Joe Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act at the White House on Tuesday, injecting $473 billion of new spending on climate and health care amid concerns it will do little to reduce inflation. In the coming weeks, the president will host a cabinet meeting focused on implementing the Inflation Reduction Act. Its climate provisions, totaling $369 billion, are projected to cut carbon emissions by 40% from earlier levels, and it includes extensions of Affordable Care Act subsidies totaling $64 billion. Please pay close attention to the photo behind Biden. It is the Pope of Rome, who are representing the first beast of Revelation 13, there is surely a reason why Biden need to have a photo of him on his desk, because Biden is a Roman Catholic, and he is serving the Pope and the Jesuit order. The Inflation Reduction Act also comes with an 87,000 IRS army of normal people like you and I, being trained to use deadly force against people. Actual job posting, the Biden-Harris regime is seeking IRS agents who are willing to use deadly force. They say there's nothing to fear about plans to add 87,000 IRS agents. They say they are not militarizing the Internal Revenue Service. But a recent job posting by the Biden-Harris regime should cause massive concern to those of us who know the IRS is coming after law-abiding middle-class Americans. Every tyrannical government in history claimed to be doing what was best for the people and acted like there was nothing to worry about as they ramped up their draconian forces. Are we seeing that manifested by the Biden-Harris regime? It appears so appropriated funds, so the IRS is currently looking to hire more special agents or CIs nationwide. Biden's $80 billion IRS army will be fit and armed to go beast mode on you. The 87,000 new special IRS agent positions that will be codified in the Democrats' scaled-down version of Biden's Build Back Better plan called the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. The job also requires the applicants selected to carry a firearm and be willing to use deadly force if necessary and also be willing and able to participate in arrests, execution of search warrants, and other dangerous assignments. Note. The reason why they use the word, beast mode, is because Biden serves the Pope in the Vatican, and as the Vatican are the first beast of Revelation 13, thus will this new army go beast mode in the Inflation Reduction Act, or I should rather say Human Reduction Act, in their false climate change pandemic. Climate change is not happening. There's a whole lot of baloney. The power to destroy, audits of us peasants dead ahead. Yes, American citizens will soon face 87,000 new IRS agents thanks to the passage of the laughably titled Inflation Reduction Act in which the expanded IRS will receive $80 billion in new funding over the next nine years. A significant number of these agents will be part of the IRS Criminal Investigation Unit, courtesy of your tax dollars. Columnist David Hassani calls this the biggest expansion of the police state in U.S. history. It is clear for many people, that Joe Biden does not make decisions on his own, as I said before he is a Roman Catholic and are controlled like any other politician, by the Jesuit order and their supreme leader, the Pope. Everything we read in these articles are from the Pope's encyclical Laudato Si, please read it if you haven't done so yet. 
For those of you who cannot see how the Pope pulls in all the strings of what is going on in the world, then we will go through a few more headlines, where Nancy Pelosi are telling us who is behind the climate change scam. Pelosi on Inflation Reduction Act, it's about values, values espoused by Pope Francis. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi gave a speech on the House floor on Friday as the chamber was preparing to vote on the Inflation Reduction Act in which she declared that that act was about values espoused by Pope Francis. It's about values. Values espoused by Pope Francis when he said earlier this summer, our planet has reached a breaking point in the fight against climate crisis. We know from many statements of the Pope, that he is into New Age spiritualism, and worships Gaia, also known as Mother Earth. And that is what Pelosi is echoing here saying that Mother Earth gets angry from time to time, but the Inflation Reduction Act will help on that problem. How can they vote against the planet? Mother Earth. Mother Earth gets angry from time to time, and uh, this legislation will help us address all of that. And uh, this legislation will help us address all of that. Now, to a last article in this video, which is from a Catholic news site called Earthbeat, where they openly tells us that this Inflation Reduction Act has Catholic footprints, and as Pelosi, Biden, Manchin which we have seen in the other articles also are Roman Catholics, then it stands clear, or at least I hope, it will stand clear for you who these politicians are really working for. Historic climate law, signed by Biden, has Catholic fingerprints all over it. Catholic fingerprints were all over the Inflation Reduction Act and its massive climate investments. It was Biden, the nation's second Catholic president, who signed it into law. After doing so, he gifted the pen to Catholic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia. It was Manchin, striking a surprise deal July 27, with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to bring the bill back to life, with an apparent assist from Bill Gates. With the stroke of his pen, President Joe Biden signed into law August 16 the largest ever federal action in response to climate change. Faith groups who have worked for years lobbying for significant federal climate legislation celebrated the historic achievement. The Cry of the Earth which Pope Francis calls us to heed in his Laudato Si encyclical, finally was heard in the halls of Congress. And it was House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the Catholic from California, who gaveled the legislation secured in Congress. Saying they represent values espoused by Pope Francis when he said earlier this summer our planet has reached a breaking point in the fight against climate crisis. There is no significant man-made global warming now there hasn't been any in the past and there's no reason to expect any in the future there's a whole lot of baloney 